Okay, today's um, video, we're going to show you how to properly um, copy a pre-op scan. Uh, many times you'll get these scans like this, you'll have it lined up like this, and just copy and go, and it looks like it's okay, but it's really not. This really just takes the averages of the whole arch and does it the best it can, but we really need to use this other tool within ExoCAD. Uh, so you have a, a higher accurate um, copy because this tooth is or this patient's in um, Invisalign so we want to make sure it fits the tray perfectly and as it's copied right now it probably won't without a little bit of adjustment um, so let's dive in we'll just go ahead and unmerge this um, like I said when this is aligned as is it's aligned using the entire arch. There's always going to be some discrepancies, deviations between scans, especially depending on how um, the doctor is scanning. If they're not using a specific scan path, things can be different. And just take a look at this one. The scan is not exactly lined up, even though they were scanned probably 20 minutes apart. Um, so we need to dial this in to be more accurate and we'll, um, I'll show you how to do that. So we're just going to correct pre-op placement. I'm going to move this out of the way, hit automatic. Um, now we only care about this tooth. So that means we only care about this tooth right here was this number 20 matching and number 18 matching. We don't care about the rest of this arch. We want the fewest discrepancies possible. So we'll just, that's what we're gonna match. We're gonna match here, and here, here, and here. I always try to do three, here, and here. But then we wanna exclude parts. And it looks like someone tried to do it, but they did the wrong, they forgot to invert it. <laughs> uh, we want it this way, like this. So let's just start from the beginning. Uh, fit nowhere is the first thing, or let's just clear. We'll start from the very beginning. Uh, here, 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 here. Okay, now we'll exclude selected. You can click fit nowhere. It'll be like this, fit nowhere. Uh, and then we're just gonna highlight these teeth. I'm holding down shift to paint. that and then paint it over here all right now we will hit best fit match oh oh hold on that's in the way we want to perform alignment now best fit matching and now it aligns much better we want to see this blue before did not see this blue Look okay, and now you can see the difference between it's minimal, it's not a whole lot of difference. But when you're fitting something underneath uh, an existing appliance, um, that's it's not going to fit perfect like the way they want it to. So let's go ahead and readapt our crown. Right click, we'll go ahead and invert and adapt. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Okay, we can stop. Hit OK. Let's freeform contacts. Uh, I'm not going to touch these um, occlusal surface right here because that's what they scanned is the pre op, and my guess is they didn't scan the bite correctly. Uh, so we're just going to add to the contact, smooth it up in this area just a hair, just a little bit. We don't want this in here like this. Smooth 
this up. This all fits in here. We'll get rid of some of this. See, this is just bad scan data right there. But we'll take that down just in case. There. Okay, now the crown will fit. Let's do the contacts. I did get a copy of the uh, Exacad 3.2, so if you guys want to see video on the, the highlights and what they've updated, whatnot, um, make sure you hit that like button, and I will get that out to you guys.